Y'all need to keep up, okay? Shamika and Tamika TV is running the game, so make sure y'all click into my playlist because I am reacting to every episode of their series called L Street. Keep up! Okay, I'm ready for episode five. Shamika and Tamika TV uploaded a video called Some Days. She just gets on my nerves, okay? <laughs> I get you, girl. You're not always gonna have a good time and have happy days all day, every day with your partner. That's not how it works. You are individuals with a different past, with a different upbringing, different morals, different values, different environments. If y'all love each other, y'all gotta learn to compromise and understand one another. Y'all gonna argue, y'all gonna disagree, y'all gonna fight. That's normal as long as y'all respect each other. All right, so let me just get into this video. I'm sorry, I just had to say that real quick. Are y'all ready to react? Cause I am, let's get it. There's some days that I look at my wife and the feeling that I get in the pit of my stomach, it truly like overwhelms me sometimes. I can remember when I first met my wife, when I first laid eyes on her. I knew at that exact moment that I was gonna be with her for forever. I don't know why, I didn't even know how, but I just knew that she was gonna be in my life for the long run. And it's so crazy because I can't imagine walking through life without anybody else but her. Mm. But just as much as I love her, and just as much as I never want her to leave, Tell there's it. just some days, Tell I swear it. to fucking God, that she gets on my goddamn nerves. Hey. No cap. And vice versa, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm loving this because they're real. Some days, to be honest, Tamika really works my last nerve. Like, <laughs> irks me and it could be like the smallest things like I gotta say I'm loving your shirt girl I love Tupac if I had to choose between two if I had to choose between Tupac and Biggie Tupac's my guy not picking up her clothes or leaving her clothes somewhere where I told her not to leave them and Shamika just, like, said not to do that like Oh, you telling her business. Tamika, you ain't picking up your clothes. Is you the messy one? Mm-mm. Why are you not fussing? <laughs> like, little minor things like that. Man, I don't have no idea why people think that relationships are going to be perfect. Like, it's not. Mm -mm. Man, I don't have no idea why people think that relationships are going to be perfect. It's not. Man, Shamika rocks my socks. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes I can go to the bathroom and she has hair everywhere. Hair everywhere. I get out the shower, I got an afro full of feet. Like, oh, Tamika, you, you gonna tell Shamika's business? Shamika, is you the messy one? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, y'all. I think both of y'all just need to go ahead and hire a maid. How about that? Because it seems to me that both of y'all are messy. God damn it. <laughs> and dishes, like, just bring it to the sink. That's all you gotta do, just bring it down to the sink. Simple, easy, <laughs> you know? I know. But, I think every relationship goes through little pet peeves like that. Everybody has a pet peeve. For sure. Sometimes she don't even do nothing. You know what I mean? I just might wake up and I'm like, damn, I ain't hit 50K on YouTube. So I'm pissed off at everybody. Skip, her. you know what I'm saying? Just everything is just the way that it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like when grown people live in a house, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have some trial and error when you're trying to learn how to coexist. And that's okay. Sometimes people think things like that are the signs of the end. No, it's not. It's not. You're supposed to get on your nerves, Shawty. That's why you're in a relationship with them. That's what I hate is when people always bring up red Red flags. What do you consider a red flag? Something that you don't like about somebody? Someone's flaw? Nobody really knows what the future holds. You can try to steer it in one direction, but it's not gonna go the way you want it to. You may be the driver of your life, but by the end of the day, God is steering it. Not you. If they ain't get on your nerves, it ain't gonna work. If they ain't get on your nerves, it ain't gonna work. Yeah, I don't like that shit. I don't know why people say that. Okay. Like, I just picked up clothes from Bama, get it up! Like, I don't know, you got sweatpants, bonnets, hoodies, like, who puts this stuff in the bathroom? Because when I come in the bathroom, <laughs> you use the bathroom, I have to take everything off! Yeah. Tamika, Tamika, you really had your pants off on that toilet seat. You really went all out with this acting skills. Go ahead, girl, you're gonna get an Oscar for this. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> Babe, just put your stuff in the hamper is all I ask. Like, I'll be saying that the way you be having hair everywhere, Golly, I can't even use the bathroom in peace. I can't, because it looked like a goddamn mountain. A cloud. Some days I just feel like, you know, 
I just don't want to be bothered. Like, I just be wanting me time, alone time, you know. I think every relationship goes through that. Um, and I think it's deserved, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to spend 24-7 with your partner all the time, doing things with your partner all the time. Like, that's too much. It's too much because you already live, especially if you're living with your partner. Right. Just like how your significant other or your spouse can get on your nerve, there can also be days where you could just look at them out of the clear blue and just be so in love. And that's the beauty of it. And people just got to understand that, you know, your relationship have to have balance. Now, if you're looking at that person who you're with and they discuss you all the time, then that's I don't a problem. Know, bro, you might want to reevaluate <laughs> your ship. You feel me? That's a problem. But like for the most part, that's human nature. It's human behavior and it's okay to feel like that. You know what I'm saying? You cannot like think that you're going to look at this person who you're saying you're going to be with for forever and not have those moments. Those are the moments that make your relationship go. Stronger. You know yeah. what I mean? Embrace those moments. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's okay. Because it's just it's just the way that it is. I feel like you need the bad with the good. You know what I'm saying? For everything to be able to balance itself out. You know what I mean? But as long as you guys understand, you know what I mean, the dynamic of your relationship and where your relationship is trying to go, then you know what I'm saying? You're going to have longevity in it. You know what I mean? For but sure. don't be a afraid of feeling those feelings because it's quite natural it's and part I of guarantee it. you if you talk to your friends everybody experienced that one time or mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it's just the way that it is being consumed amongst just the two of y'all like it needs to be some other time spread some other time share so I think that's definitely helpful and healthy for long-term relationships or just and that's the word healthy it's okay to have a life outside of that relationship and that's where i flaw in in my relationships i tend to be the person that likes to do everything with their partners not that there's something wrong with that there isn't but there has to come a time to where it's okay for me to have my me time maybe time with friends just to be around other people be around different energies you know and learn from other people like it's okay to do that and then you come back home you know re-energized and that's something i'm still trying to learn but i'm gonna get there mind you i've always been okay with my partners to step out of the house and do their thing i just don't do shit i end up just staying home while they go out and have their fun but i need to understand that i need to do the same because by the end of the day it turns out to not be good for my mental health so I'm learning. General, like everybody just needs a little breather. Lay, lay this I wish, I wish that raindrops would fall. Let it rain, let it rain. <laughs> Babe, come on, like get off me. Why you gotta push me? Because you're leaning with me on all your weight on me. I gotta watch that again. I felt like <laughs> that was a real giggle. I don't think that shit was acting, y'all. I don't think that was a little skip. I think when you fell up on her, she thought that shit was funny as hell. Let me watch that shit. I, I, stuff like that is cute. Let it rain, let it rain. <laughs> Babe, come on, like get off me. Why you gotta push me? Because you're leaning with me on all your weight on me. I love you, girl. I love you too. I'm trying to watch TV though, but for real, for real. Stop. I said what? Stop. <laughs> I said what? Welcome to sit and lay down, but I'm not trying to hear you right now, baby. You get mad loud. <laughs> That's how it'd be like. Why you gotta be all loud and rude? Oop! How am I rude trying to love you? Cause I've heard that, okay? I've been told that I'm loud. But that's okay though. <laughs> that's okay. That's my personality. So in this situation, yeah, I'm kind of like Tamika. See me trying to watch TV. That shit ain't good no way. Lame ass show. <laughs> Whatever. So, I mean, as long as you go through things like that and you understand the meaning of going through things like that in your relationship, like, I feel like that's what makes your bond stronger. That's what your, that's what makes your relationship last longer. I feel like that's what is a key point of me and Tamika's relationship and our marriage. Like, we don't consume each other and like overbearing and just hogging up each other's time, you know what I mean? I will say one thing though, ladies. This is distracting to me. Your background, I love the black on black. I saw what you're trying to do with your chair, matching with the background there. But what's distracting to me is that line, horizontally from left to right. It's distracting like a motherfucker and I just seem to be focusing on that. And I'm trying to concentrate. But ladies, if y'all can somehow manage to like 
fill up that sheet from the top all the way to the bottom, that'd be nice. And honestly, with the chair, try to find a chair that's actually black and not just be covered with a black sheet. This is just my suggestion. I ain't a professional. It's just, I'm just telling you what I think. Visually, I get distracted. Really healthy and it makes your relationship last. No! You gotta be kidding me, man! Come on, babe! <laughs> babe, back on up! What? Come on, babe. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you babe, be picking you on her! Right she busy, Let's girl! Seriously, back up! <laughs> Love and affection. This game is more important. No, babe, babe, don't do that. Seriously. What? Yo, are you serious, man, babe? Like serious, go on, man. I don't understand what the problem is. Hey. Yo, 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 you flasher girl. Like, babe, go on. Flasher. I'm doing that just to you. Flasher, she'll stop playing. This person, I'll move. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Oh, now I'm coming back. <laughs> Yo, like, for real, she booty. Like, Why are you invading my personal space? To make you better smack stop. that ass. You better stop with that. Serious. It is a serious. You can restart over. Man, no, no, no. <laughs> it's a game. Just, you just restart, you know, pause, play, you know, get playoffs. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you and your game. Ugh. Ugh. I have a question though. It seems to me that in like every lesbian relationship when it's a femme and stud involved, apparently studs are the only ones that like to play video games. How about the femmes? Do y'all femmes like to play video games? I don't like to play video games and I'm a stud, okay? But do y'all femmes also play? That's my question. And I like, haven't met no one that does. There's no person in this world um, who I wouldn't rather have aggravate me than my wife. Mm. Like honestly, it's like one of those Good way to sweet put it. interruptions, you know what I'm saying? Even in my aggravation sometimes, you know what I mean? I can still tolerate it. And that's the beauty in it. And that's how I knew I was gonna marry her. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to take time for yourself and want some time for yourself. It's okay to be selfish sometimes. We are so easily, mm. you know, it's, it's so easy to be able to just like submerge yourself in a relationship and lose pieces of yourself and mm. lose your own identity. Mm. You can still be your own individual self and still grow with someone. And that's the thing that you're going to have to become understanding of when you're in a relationship. That's all it is. But it's okay, man. It's going to be days, man, where I just don't want to look at nobody. And that's fine. It's going to be days when she don't want to look at me. And that's fine. It don't mean that I want to kick her out or I want a divorce. It just means that, you know what I'm saying, we respect each other's spaces. Mm -hmm. Because you need them for a relationship to be able to endure So You know what I'm saying? So one day she get on my nerve, you know what I mean? I might just go downstairs and kick it in the den or kick it in the man cave and blow me down one or two, you know what I'm saying? And she might do the same thing, you know right. what I mean? But at the end of the As long as y'all are on the same page and y'all understand that y'all want to be together, this has nothing to do with ending your relationship when you have your me time, then you'll be good. Hey, we just respect each other's spaces. And I think that's what always like kind of keep us golden in our relationship. Okay, I'm liking that. Just one of them days. When a girl goes through, when I'm angry inside, I don't want to take it out on you. Y'all know what that song says. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.